to Schwab. <laughs> Kona calls her dad Jeff. Jeff and I are brainstorming. Let's get back okay. to you. Sounds good. <laughs> yep. What have we got this copper one for? Why not? Funsies. All right. Bring it over. No. Right, Hi, everybody. I put a sleeve on that side. Hello. You have an empty sleeve somewhere. Hopefully, you can hear me as I'm doing this. Uh, I left my phone in there. This is Bobby Cool, Daddy Slick Breeze here with Paige Pierce. She's here for a signature session here at the Dining Dis Emporia store. If you want to get your orders in right now, we already have some orders in, that have come in, but if you want to get your orders in right now until 2 p.m. Central, I believe was the cutoff time. Mm -hmm. um, One hour. You have to put in the notes, request that you want Paige Pierce's signature, and she will be happy to sign it. Um, we would love to see some convicts come through, some deputies come through, but anything you want to purchase and have her signature on it, she'd be more than happy to to do that. Yes, Paige? Yes, I will. So I'm going to let Robert take over, but I want to fill you in. But he's going to take over the uh, management of all the stuff that's getting signed. Yeah. Because that's all he's good for. And we will take it from there. 100% fair. Hey, can I, have, can I have a blank piece of paper? Yep. Thanks. Welcome, Cool Daddy and Slick Hair. Thank you. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool Daddy <laughs> Slick Hair. That's me. What's up? <laughs> The last one of these that I did was with uh, Little Page, uh -huh. and we had just shaved, like for no shave, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. I saw all your fresh like shaved. I looked like a, a tiny child. Good Page, and whoever else wants to sign the defender. And the bottom of the bill of the yeah. hat. Yeah, well, I would change value of the basis, so I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it alone. All right. What's up? These are nice hats. That's pretty cool. Okay. You guys watch it on YouTube. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments, and Paige will answer them as she is signing her discs. Got right. it. Ooh, that's a cool one. Oh, dang. Ooh. Dang. Yeah. Chris says, you're my fave, but I'm at work. I'll have to watch later. Have fun. Nice. Well, won't. have fun at work. I'd like to have my junior disc signed by anyone, everyone available for my nephew. Convict signed by Paige, so you start with that. That's a good one. Look at that one. And then start on those and we'll pass them around. You throw these little baby ones ever? Uh, a little bit. Just for fun? Mm -hmm. The first ones that I tried out, we were at the memorial last year. Yeah. And you could throw them like 200 just straight judges. It's crazy. Yeah. Russ asks if he can buy now and have them signed yes. You have until 2 p.m. You have until 2 p.m. Central. Which is one hour from now. One hour from now. Uh, go to dynamicdisc.com, submit your order. Make sure in the notes that you request. Now, this cannot be Dimax, right? Because with Dimax, obviously, we have to have it made. But if it's anything but Dimax, we can have it signed right now until 2 p.m. Central, and we will ship it out with a signature. What is this? you got to sign it up. you got to sign that, oh, bro. you got to sign it up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Woo. That's a cool one. I think the stamp color. Okay. Both Saw on Instagram. Nice. All right. Convict on this one, please. You know, your signature is a lot shorter than Paige Bjorkis's. Did you know that? Yeah, I shortened okay. it every year. <laughs> every year. <laughs> I used to write it in cursive, like how I signed back yeah. my checks and stuff. Right. Then I was like, eh, I don't even write good in cursive. This is Ken Jones. He said, if possible, could I have Paige sign these discs when she has time in the store? The ones that you sign in Carrollton, they're all get get on. Nice. Good. Team, oh, Ken team Jones. deputy. Yeah. Heck yeah. I like the gray putters. They match with the chains. Ooh, look like at that. You. Dude, your putt that's on the um, multi world like putt of the year thing. Yeah, that was one of my so best ones. So sick. Someone asked, uh, Paige, you mentioned that your dad got you started into disc golf. How old were you? I was um, like three or four, really. Played my first tournament when I was eight. So between that time, I just kind of like threw around occasionally, like on some of the tee pads if I wanted to, but started playing tournaments when I was eight. Is it hard for Paige to touch and see all the plastics without wanting to throw them? Uh. Kind of. The cold weather helps me not really want to, but it's really hard to go through the warehouse and not like 
<laughs> grab a yeah. bunch of stuff. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's so cool that you guys do like warehouse tours. Anybody can come tour the warehouse. Yeah, come check it out. Did you play any cool courses in St. No? Louis when you no. stopped by? Away. Say that again? Any cool courses in St. Louis when you stopped by? I didn't play any actually. No, I was only there for three days and we had our like family Christmas and uh, just kind of was checking out the town. So I didn't get out to play, but I'll be going back in February. So I'll be going out to a few courses I heard about. Yes, I have. Oh, puppy dog! <laughs> uh, here. Oh, that's, Silas that's is our, cool. My daughter is six, and we've just nice. started playing together. Like Future yeah. Paige. Say that one more time. Uh, the Tyler that asked about his, uh, how old were you? He says my daughter was is six, and we've just started playing together. Hashtag Future Paige. Nice. That's really cool. Look at this pup. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Harvey. Harvey. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this purple. It's purple. Right, that goes with all of this stuff. So. Okay. Nice little girl. You. I see some good Christmas presents are being purchased. Pretty solid on the Christmas presents at this point. So yeah, so this would classic would be down here, and then signature up there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much like the image. Yeah. That worked for you. Yeah. yeah. Want to run it by you before we move forward with it 100%. Sure. What is the What is the best tip for jump putting? That's good to go. Um, timing. Definitely timing. If you don't time it correctly, like when you when the release of the disc comes out and you're actually jumping into it. Um, all of that momentum that you just built up doesn't even go into the disc anyway and it just kind of makes your release point off. So just make sure that when you're coming up, that's when the disc is coming out. Both of those. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't seen those stock stamp patrols in person. People keep talking about doing Paw Patrol stamped patrols. Yes. <laughs> Granite. Yeah. Probably a probably one of those putters. The uh, the putters that she was looking at earlier, the gray ones. They're over there. They're really cool. They have the owl stamp on them. That's your favorite stamp. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> What's your favorite disc for long turning distance drives? Um, if I want it to reliably stay turning, the Sheriff, I throw it in Lucid. But mostly I'm throwing Ballista Pro. Um, they'll turn early, but uh, then at the end of the flight they'll kind of hyzer back. But uh, I love the Lucid Sheriff if I want it to hold the entire flight. But I'm actually kind of, kind of messing with the Lucid X Trespass right now. Pretty stable out of the box, yeah. I have the same color combo and everything in my Dang. bag to Jerry. Oh yeah, Jacobson. you don't. You just you just signed. I know, but I was just uh, oh, yeah. he's watching. Oh, it's going to Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. I just thought the same when I looked at this and it said what's friendly. Route. I thought he was oh, asking to yeah. sign like that. Please do. That. Yes. Sign that. Captain. Oh yeah, the captain's supposed to be good for long, mm -hmm. understable shots too. Yeah, a little bit less stable than a trespass, I think. Yeah. Get it. I think so. That's what it looks like to me. I haven't even seen Eric since I got here yet. Uh, that's because he is in uh, an undisclosed location. Oh, he's not even here. Okay. Nope, he's uh, what the heck? I'm sorry, I actually didn't mean to good. do that. <laughs> um, he's uh, he's course designing right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that color combo. That one's kind of crazy. It's like that side like fades into the plastic. Uh -huh. That's weird. That's weird. 
I like it. Doc says, Robert, thanks again for the Maverick Patrol suggestion so they work with my noodle arm. Sweet. Thanks. Needing a such an extensive selection of ferry drivers, this can be a little overwhelming. If I had to only play with two, what would they be? Uh, I agree with that for sure. Um, there's lots of fairway drivers, but I think that's a good thing because if you find one that you like, you know, anyone can find one that they like, basically. For me personally, I throw the Convict um, and I throw it in the Lucid for straight with a little bit of turn at the end of the flight and for Lucid X for straight with a little bit of hyzer at the end of the flight. So those are my two that I would say. Um, the Lucid X is the newest addition to my bag and I it absolutely filled the gap between the Convict and the Felon for me. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend it if your Convicts, your Lucid Convicts are flipping a little bit, Lucid X is perfect. And that's pretty much all the fairways that you throw is yeah, Felon and Convict. Yeah, those are the three that I throw. And, and, and then Thief for Rollers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, occasionally I'll throw the Thief. Like if, if the Convict's actually too stable for you, try the Thief. Mm -hmm. um, and if even the Lucid X Convict's too flippy, I would say the Felon for yeah. my personal recommendation. If you haven't tried a Maverick, you should try that too. I like mm -hmm. the Maverick a little bit. He good. Nicholas says, when you come back to St. Louis, a recommendation yeah. would be Centralia, which is on the Illinois side and has two amazing 18-hole courses on the same property. Nice, Centralia. Sweet. I heard so many recommendations to go to in St. Louis, it's going to take a while to do them all. Right. But yeah, I hear it like the... The community was awesome. There's so many people that came out and talked to me about all the courses and stuff. It was great. Evan asks, what's your guy's favorite Hold hole on. at Milo McIver? It's my hometown park. Milo McIver? What's my favorite hole? Yeah. Oh, um... Man. I like the one that Philo Albatross. I think that's a really good hole, and it's it's hard to it's hard to score on unless you're in perfect placement on um, two shots, and you still have to hit a good putt um, for the for the eagle. Um, and it challenges you to I don't know. I think that it's I think it's a really great hole, but almost all of them out there. It's so hard to pick one because like every hole is almost like a right. signature hole. I've never gotten to play out there. I really want to make it out sometime. Yeah, it's it looks, amazing. Yeah, would it looks love it. awesome. Tom says, what's up from Finland? What's up? What up, Tom? Thanks for tuning in. Um, what time is it there? Oh, no. hit her with the... What time is it in Finland? Two, two coin. Should I? Yeah. Oh, two my. I see. Yeah. I see. I see. In Finland right now, it would be eight twenty-three. I think. I think it's seven hours ahead of here. Seven or eight. Oh yeah. Just place his order. Yay! Nice. Nice. Come on. Mail's about to go out too. The perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> Struggling? A little bit. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, then I'll take the over there. Geez, Robert, is there anything that man don't know can't do? Oh, there's lots of things I don't know and can't do. Win lots of tournaments. That's one of them. You're getting is, there. 21-23 uh, makes it 9-23. Oh, Nine eight hours. Right. Seven, seven to sweep. Hey, you do know how to get thousand right? Hey, don't forget it. <laughs> don't you forget it. Although, did you see the last update? I went to ten oh six at the last update. What? I know, but then it went back down because they didn't count USDGC. It was counted on the first. Oh yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ten oh four. Okay. Still not still bad. Good. I'm still I'm not mad. Pretty good. Pretty. You're good. on the rise, Robert. Dude. I, I want to keep battling it out though, because I feel like you're. I mean, you're gonna get there. Eventually, I've gone down like three, three upgrades or four even. Just kind of as a point of interest, you should, you should want to go up. I know. I think I, I think I want to try that. <laughs> you're gonna get. You Next need time. to give it a shot. Robert, the higher your rating. Whoa! This is in caps. So I'm gonna. That's, do that's right. As yelling. If it if it gets up to ten ten, it's just gonna be just spiked, as high as I can possibly go. <laughs> The convict and the deputy on the bottom. Sweet. 
To the person who asked what can't I do or, or anything like that, thank you for the kind words. Um, I can list off things that I can't do if you'd like me to. Yeah, let's hear it. Draw. Oh, yeah, I'm me pretty, either. Pretty bad artist. Um, my handwriting is not great. It's pretty, pretty average to bad. Um, average to bad. Be very tall. I'm not very tall, so I can't do that very well. I don't know. I'll keep thinking on it. I'll, which, I'll let you know. Which disc is best for the Heiser flip to flake? Flat straight shot. Eyes are flip to flip. So what distance? For I don't know. For what, me, what? in putter deputy, in fairway convict, and in driver, um, I actually just use like a really beaten bio defender, but probably something more like a trespass or or uh, escape. Whoa. Especially when you tell them. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Doc says, take a compliment. Don't do that well. Wait, wait, oh, what? you can't take a compliment yeah, take well. <laughs> I'm, not, I am, I'm definitely not good at taking compliments. Thank you. Uh, what is Paige's favorite mid? Do they make it in glow? Do they make it in glow? I think I would have to. Ah, uh, man. It's between the suspect and the Emac Truth. Um, I know they make the Emac Truth in Moonshine because that's the mm -hmm. plastic I throw it in, actually, the Peter McBride version. It's like moonshine with sparkles. So, yes, on that one. The suspect we make in glow also, don't we? Or no? Moonshine? I don't no, remember. No, wait. No, moonshine suspect. I don't think so. I don't remember. I throw it in Fusion. Yeah. With the Cowboys logo mm -hmm. diamond. Or with Tino's on face it. on oh, it. Oh, yeah, mine, yeah, mine's got Tino on so it. Sign it for his wife, Tessa. What's the top score for disc golfers? Top score? Um, five. Uh, if you shoot a five on any course, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the question. <laughs> the top score, like, the best you could shoot would be like... You mean 18? 18 under par, or... Maybe we could translate it for him and what's the best rating if someone ever has? The best rating... The best rating ever is 1132. Yeah. That's Macbeth at the memorial when he shot a 39, which is dumb. Unheard of. What's your highest ever? Um, 10.63, I think. Shut up. Ours are exactly the same. Really? Yes. What? On the number. No I, I, way. I only have one. I only have one round over 10.50, and it's that one. Whoa. Yes, Doc meant disc golf rating. We figured that's what you meant, Doc. We were yeah. just picking on you. We understand. Uh, best Where was that at? Where's your 10.63 at? Um, at. Texas State's last year at Evergreen. The yes, ball ball I remember watching that. Unreal. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. When it just everything is going right. Uh -huh. Mine was at Zebos, and it was my first tournament back from knee surgery. Really? I was throwing max 330, and I was using a king to do it. Really? 1063. Just it like was so stupid. Straight. Well, yeah, the first round I shot 950 something. Because I didn't. It was my first tournament yeah. back. I sucked. Whoa. But then, like, I just made every putt and hit every line. It was nuts. Sometimes it just comes yeah. together. So then I got third. Because I went so bad the first round. Best distance driver for someone who throws 350 max. Um, it depends on what you want. These questions are kind of hard when you, you know, I can't see you throw. But if you're looking for understable, I would say a sheriff's really good. Um, and then if you're looking for overstable, I would say ballista pro. Absolutely. What's the best putter to throw with great stability? Like overstable? Um, Warden? Well, I mean, of course I, I think that's great. Um, if you're talking overstable, probably a slammer. Or, oh, yeah. Or Super even like a, or like a Cenus. I, I, I've been hey. a Cenus lately. Sorry. Cenus. <laughs> you seen this? <laughs> Danny says that all the time when I say You seen this? Um, I really like the Cenus. It's like, it's kind of like a slightly worked in slammer out of the gate. Yeah, I think what throws a lot of people off about the Cenus is those little thumb pads. I just don't use them. I just grab them on not that, and it works really well. Interesting. Um, yeah, for me, I just throw uh, Marshalls. I throw Classic mm -hmm. Blend, and straight out of the box, they have a good bit of overstability at the end of the flight. And once they start breaking in, they just get really straight. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen you throw some crazy straight shots with yours. Mm -hmm. Just pop I just in. love them for straight. I don't really throw overstable putters that much. I just throw... 
a suspect if I need yeah, something. Yeah, it's kind of like that table. tweener. Lucid shield, we're hearing. Pretty good one. What do you throw, Bob? For what? Overstable putter. Oh, Bobo. You like the suspect too, right? Suspect is my jam. Yeah, he does like the suspect, especially the one that he has in his bag now. Yeah. Hey. You gave it to him? No, it's the bet. Well, he, yes, yes, he did, but it was the bet one, so he had, he had it made <laughs> with me and a sad face. Have you seen that picture? I have not. Oh, fine. I need to see it. That should have been part of the bet where you had to carry a mini of it all with you. <laughs> what was the bet? About the thousand? About the thousand, right? Oh, okay. yeah. oh, and the bag is right here, sir. We got another puppy. Let's see. Well, doll. Hey, Spears is awesome. You put the great you. golf and great behind the scenes content. Thank you. Yeah. I will try my best to do both. Yeah. Uh, I'm using the harp now, but I'll still yeah. keep the scene <laughs> What's in her my name? bag. Penny. Penny, that's sweet. Yeah, he has the Cenus also. How much would it mess up Robert's game if it was cold enough he had to wear a stocking cap? I, I mean, oh, I, I played it. in beanies before. It doesn't really bother me too much. You can tap on it if you want to look at it closer. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paige and Robert's max distance. Mm. It's hard to say for me because I don't go out with, um, like, I don't go out in the field and just try and throw as far as I can all out. Uh, or no? Yeah. Really? All yeah. right. Um, Silver? When, when I've done that before... Are we in the frame? Hold on. No. Let me, let me open this real quick. <laughs> just do it right there on the top. When I've done that before... Uh, I would say my max distance is like, I don't know, right around the 480, 490. Um, Fine. <laughs> uh, it's, I don't know, it's not great for him. Paige throws farther than me 100%. I don't know, because I don't got 490 in me. Actually, I open, threw Open field? Yeah, you do. I threw 480 at the world's distance competition. That was pretty open field, but it had a little... The first like 30 feet had a little uphill plateau thing, so I don't know, but that's probably the farthest I would say, give or take, okay, 20 feet. With the ballista throw, I just kind of throw it out wide, super turned over, and let it fly. On on like golf lines though, not just straight up max distance. If I'm just throwing like something straight or even like a little bit of turn and come back, I, I don't throw it much farther than like 40. Something yeah, like same. That. So uh, how many similar. tournaments are you going to play this year, Paige? Um, or, I'm sorry, next year. Yeah, 2019. Probably uh, pretty close to the same as I normally do. I, I think I play 26 this year. Um, so I would say upwards of 20, but probably close to 25. All right. Just picked up a Lucid Marshall. Feels amazing in my hand, but nice. haven't got to throw it yet. Got it in the mail yesterday. Nice. Paige, Mark. any new molds? Going um, in the bag for the off season? No, I'm kind of messing around with the getaway right now, just a little bit. I don't think it's going to make the bag. Um, so you got convicts that fill the slot. Yeah, much, they yeah. do. The Lucidex convict fills the slot, and uh, the trespass I'm kind of messing with. If I want a little bit uh, shorter and less <coughs> overstable version of my Ballista Pro. Um, so maybe trespass, and other than that, um, yeah, not not really. I I was testing out the what is it, the gatekeeper, right? The new mm -hmm. mid. The mid. Yeah, I, it's really I don't good. know. We might we might put that in the bag for my uh, straight mid shot. What tournament other than Worlds and USDGC are you looking forward to most? Um. <laughs> As I fall into the. Friend Bob, this is for you to sign. <laughs> I would say that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, you're showing up. I don't know. I would say just Maple Hill because it's my favorite course. And Maple it's Hill always is so beautiful. Time. That's that's a really cool place. Uh. Jay says, what's up to Gam, Fam, and Paige? What up? Paige knows fam. she can throw 500. 
Heiser Flip Bio Defenders go forever. Yes, they do. When does Paige's tour schedule drop? Need to start saving up to see her when she's out this way. Nice. <laughs> awesome. That's really cool. Um, I don't know that I'll like be. I guess I should post it, like when I know. Um, yeah. probably in later in January, I'll probably have a better idea and like. Of everywhere you're gonna be. Yeah, of everywhere I'm gonna be and where we're going to do clinics and have we ever added that to their team page like no we were talking about it for this next year yeah uh, i think that'd be good getting with like because little Paige, um she's planning on doing some of those putter challenges and stuff mm -hmm. so she's trying to plan out pretty far ahead in, in advance and so we're looking at putting something like that out nice. uh, for each person so people could just go on the website and see where you're yeah. at so not that it would be like Definitive. This is yeah. This yeah. is where you have to be, but this is what you're planning. Right. I think that'd be really um, cool. I, I, yeah. I missed a question. Something about uh, what's a good color for playing in the weeds? Yeah. Best this color. This color to find in the weeds. Le would love to see a polka dot or something disc. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have trouble finding many of my discs, even when they're this color. Um, so I don't really look too much for that. I just try to make sure I keep an eye on it. A lot of people, like if they throw an errant shot, you'll kind of see them turn their back and that's how you lose this. So just make sure you watch it. I think any disc really is going to be findable if you just pay attention. So we talked about this on the Disc Golf Answerman show, but someone's asking now, Paige, any thoughts about the Disc Golf Media, Disc Golf Pro Tour Media Plan? Will you consider, will you consider <laughs> playing a different tournament, non Disc Golf Pro Tour if Jer Jer Jomez is filming FPO. Yeah, we did just talk about this earlier. Actually, short answer, yes, I will absolutely be there. If Jomez is ever covering FPO, I will be using that tournament um, over a Disc Golf Pro Tour, unless it's Worlds, uh, Maple Hill, or Beaver State. Those are the three that I will not skip for anything. Um, but yeah, that's definitely going to be a huge factor in my decisions for which tournaments to play. Dave says thanks for signing those two yellow convicts. David Craig, nice. Yeah. We nice. just signed them. We just did. That's awesome. <laughs> they didn't have silver stamps, but we got yeah, Dave, sweet, sorry. Uh, like turquoise. I actually have this exact same color combo in my bag currently. Pretty good. How did you like traveling in your van last year? I absolutely loved it. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about this um, for, for people who are watching and curious. So... All right, so you've got a fan inside, so it, once it's warm, you can get a little bit cool. When it's cold outside, what, what do you do? Um, more blankets, for sure, but also just that kind of comes in on the initial stages of, of the van build is the insulation and just yeah. making sure it's insulated enough. My dad is a plumber, and so he deals with lots of insulation in attics and stuff, so he made sure to batter that point home and make sure that we have plenty, plenty, plenty in there. Um, so the insulation, but even if you need more so than that, I recently got a uh, like heated blanket from Walmart, or like 20 bucks, and you just nice. plug it in, and it's like a little heating pad, but big. but a big heating yeah, pad. a big heating pad. <laughs> there yeah. you go. So I mean, just that, and just uh, yeah, lots of blankets, kind of. I like that. I we've talked about getting in a, a heated blanket for our house now. Yeah. It just gets really cold. Yeah. Well, I mean, the season's kind of over now, so like by the time it gets cold, like our last tournament of the year was in uh, Jacksonville, and it was very hot, so we actually needed fans and and air conditioning. We actually rented the Airbnb because it was too hot in the van. So that really? Was, yeah. Dang. Yeah. How often do y'all have to do that? Not too often. Not at all. Um, okay. Sometimes, I don't know, like if we're running low on clean clothes or need to do you know need hot water for some dishes we'll all go in on an airbnb for yeah. a couple days but i would say maybe only did that like three or four times the that's whole awesome year. yeah airbnb is the best mm -hmm. like we did that for usdgc and uh, one other place uh, like on a couple of the small ones that I went to. yeah it's just so great mm -hmm. like as opposed to a hotel room it's yeah fantastic. oh my gosh yeah they're almost the same price and you get a full kitchen and you know the privacy that you need and it's your own, your own spot. All right, I want to interrupt real quick. Oh, cool. Okay, so. Man. Oh, okay, All right. fine. All right, so 
I don't know if you guys know or not or have been uh, following us, but we have mystery boxes. A lot of people are super excited. I've seen some people post stuff on social media about their, their mystery boxes. They're super excited. But I was just told they were going to pack one and put a golden ticket in one. And I'm going to put it in this mystery box. Now, you have to order a mystery box. I can't tell you which one it is. Um, obviously, that makes what? You don't want to show that. Oh, we do not want to show that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put it in here. This is going to be this golden ticket for and golden ticket can be uh, worth you can you have a chance for either a Ranger H2O, a uh, Marksman, or a compact cart, right? Yep. So I got that right. Good deal. So this is going in the box. You can go to dynamitdisc.com right now and order a mystery box. You get six discs for $59.99. Yep, for $59.99 and uh, you have a chance to win this golden ticket disc and you can be a big, big winner. But even if you don't, you still get six discs for like 10 bucks. great value. Yeah, you get some really great discs. So anyway, so just kind of a little plug there. We got a, quite a few left for the holiday season. Great gift for yourself or a great gift for somebody on your Christmas list. And that's a golden ticket going in that one. They're going to tape it up, send it out. And, oh wow, I already know who the winner is. I guess, oh, so we know who's going to win, so we, we Bobby, that's why, I that's why he turned it around. around. So that's awesome, so we know who's going to win, so congratulations to blah, 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 bleep, bleep, bleep. Thank you, it. <laughs> but we still have some mystery box left, so uh, you never know what you can get in a mystery box. We're always working on something. We've got all of our taglines there. I know. Be, be dynamic, grow this sport, grow this And uh, we're always working on something, and uh, yeah. So if you guys are just now tuning in, thanks for tuning in to our uh, in-store signing here live with Paige Pierce. She was just getting some of her uh, some of her new discs that she's had made to a couple of customers who came in the store. If you want her to sign your order... Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about those in oh, just Oh, okay, a I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want her to sign your order, you have 19 minutes to okay? order. So between now and 2 p.m., you can submit your order and have Paige Pierce sign your discs, hats, Shirts, bags, etc. So, if you haven't already, go to dynamicdiscs.com, pick yourself out a Lucid X Convict, regular old Lucid Convict, regular old uh, Bio Defender, mm -hmm. Deputy, meal, really whatever you want. She she doesn't discriminate against this. She'll no, sign I whatever. Don't. Um, but yeah, get some of those, and for the next now 18 minutes, she will sign them. Uh, Bobby Robert Page, are you coming back to Toonie in 2019? I don't know if we are. Not, not. in 2019. But yeah. I'll definitely be back to that tournament. It was amazing. Yeah. As of right now, I don't think we're planning to go to Europe, Bobby and I. Um, Jeremy might, but it, it may just be an every other year thing. We're still trying to figure that out. Paige, do you have any more of those great green defenders? Green ones. I have uh, these, like, turquoise ones that are amazing. That is super, sick. super domey. And limited edition stamp there commemorating my U.S. women's title this year. Um, but green defenders, I'm not sure which ones you're talking about, but yeah, these are the only ones I have currently. Yeah, those look good. The, show them the convicts, though. Mm -hmm. Th these are some uh, color hybrid convicts that Paige had made with their fingerprint stamp. Freaking sick! This is hybrid one of my burst. favorite, like, color combos. Thanks. I love it. Hybrid burst. Pretty awesome. Limited edition. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Excited about them. What, uh, as far as form goes, is there anything specific or any specific tips for rollers? Um, just to make sure, like when you, well, and this kind of translates to each different type of shot. You know, when you're when you're throwing a normal, just straight shot, you want to make sure your follow through is flat. Um, but when you're throwing and when you're throwing a hyzer, you want your follow through to be up because you're trying to spike the disc into the air. Right. And when you're doing a roller, it's the opposite. You are coming. You want the disc to be on the ground, so you're going to have a higher reach back to a lower follow through. So just make sure when you come through, your follow through is low and your body kind of comes over the disc. That way you're putting it on the ground. Doc says, Bobby, any reason you guys don't send a paper saying weights and names of discs like other companies do? I'm not sure what you're referring to, Doc. Can, send, you, can send, you read that again? Uh, any reason you guys don't send a paper saying weights and names of discs? So I think he's uh, saying like a product list or guide or something. So, like, here's all the discs that we offer, here's the weights that we offer. Oh, what is that? Yeah. I don't know. I may be wrong. Well, with the, if you're talking about your order, with each order, um, obviously, can't show you all of it, but, like, the person's information. But 
It comes with what discs you ordered and the quantity and the co item code. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, Doc, if you can, if you can, take a screenshot of what you're talking about and email it to Bobby B O B B Y at dynamitdisc.com and I'll take a look into it. Uh, wait, what was that green convict? Yeah, check that out. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you just check that they out? They are hybrid burst uh, convicts. They're actually you can only get them through me. Latitude. Uh, we went there this past summer when we were going to the Tuni, and we went to the warehouse, and Emil saw, knew that this was my favorite color. Um, so they had these were accidentally ran actually, and he emailed me saying that they had a bunch and I bought them all. <laughs> <laughs> I will take all of them. My favorite disc and my favorite color. So yeah, I got these and I have about, mm, what, 20 or so left. There was 200 made, so Dude, yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> they are limited edition and won't be ran again, I hear. Uh, is there a Zoom feature? Nope, sorry, John. Or there is, but can't do it right now. Uh, actually, if you want, like hold it up to your face real quick. Which one? The, that disc? Yeah. Okay. Right in front of your face. No. Yep. There you go. Now you can see it a little bit closer. And they're all different, like variations of green. This one's a little more pale than this other one, but they're all different. Swirliness and slightly different shades. Yeah, of I green. love those colors. Those are sick. Sick. All right. Let's see, uh, da, 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 uh, what putter do you want to sign for me, Paige? I promise to use it. <laughs> Definitely a deputy, there you team go. deputy for the win. How do we get those special discs? I like the Defender. I think you kind of went over that. Yeah, just message me on uh, any of my social media platforms, Facebook, my fan page, or um, Instagram. I actually would prefer if it was today because I leave the country on Sunday. And if you want it before Christmas, definitely message me today about it. Uh, mystery boxes, what are the weights and discs? They wouldn't be a mystery if we could. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> is that something yeah, you can hello. even tell them? No. <laughs> no, that's the whole point is it's a mystery box. Oh, wait, so. can I show them the shirts? Can you model a shirt? Sure. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, go ahead, go ahead. Pardon me. I'm oh, gonna, you're right I'm going to unvest myself and prepare. And Austin asks, Paige, when you flick. Medium or large? Medium. When you flick your putter up right before you putt, is that just a habit or is it a move that helps you keep something in mind while you're putting? Um, wait, I'll wait till you get over here. Okay. Okay. Medium. Found it. Sweet. I'll be right back. I'll use Joel's office. <laughs> okay. So the putter flick, I honestly, I used to just <laughs> kind of do the motion right in front of me, but I really... Okay, so the point of it is to get that muscle movement and just like experience how it feels before I actually let it go. Kind of like on your drive, how you kind of do this. Well, it's the same on my putt, but when I would do this, it kind of, I don't know how well you can tell, but it almost comes out of my hand. So I started thinking I was going to drop it and kind of have a accidental throw. Um, so I just kind of do it up here because it's more, it feels more secure in my hand and and uh, also I can kind of like stare right at the basket with it. So um, yeah, just kind of developed over time just to, uh, oh, it's I don't know, happen. experience how, how it will feel coming out of my hand. But just my pre-routine. Okay, so, oh, okay, let's try this again. In the mystery box, why is there no weight disc listing of what you get? Oh, okay, Doc, that's, a, that's an interesting point. In other words, when you get a mystery box, if you're, like, super new to oh, disc golf in the or, in, or super new to us, you, you're not sure what you're getting. Yeah. That's an idea we can pitch for next year, maybe. I would imagine you have to imagine, or you have to keep in mind that we send out a lot of mystery boxes, and not every mystery box, mystery box has the same thing right. in it. They're and all so different. they're all going to be. Well, I wouldn't say they're all different, oh, but they're, they're all. Well, yes. I mean, in a sense, they're yeah. not. They're not all one color, all one weight, and everything to where it would make it. It would simplify it to have uh, a list of things. Um, but it may be something we can look into next year. So thanks for the idea. And then someone says, I had it. Oh, for Missy Boss, uh, could I ask for like less than speed twelve for uh, slower arm speeds? Kind of the same thing, Russ. Um, how it works is they have these stacks and stacks of boxes, stacks of, and I'm talking a lot of discs. And they just go through and they start grabbing them and they put them in boxes and stuff like that. So in order to have uh, 
custom uh, things like that pulled isn't exactly doable. If that sounds, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I know that sounds kind of like non-customer servicey, but yeah, they're prepackaged. Yeah, they they're get sent over here. Yeah, they are prepackaged in the warehouse, and then they get sent here, and they kind of sit in a little holding space until they get ordered. And uh, so I'm talking a lot of boxes, and so that kind of makes it not able to do that. Hmm. Don't all DD discs have the mold and the weight stamped on the bottom anyway? Yes. Actually, they do. Yes. If you turn a disc over, they're, uh, I guess a good way to put it is they're embossed. Yeah, like engraved in there. Yeah, and so yeah. it'll say the weight and it'll say the the mold of it, right? Even Westside does that too, uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah. And they're, sometimes they're kind of hard to reach. You kind of kind of move them around in the light and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, working on making that purchase now. Thank you, Jason. Not all were DD, that's true, Doc. They're not all DD, but the Latitude brands and the, unless they're like a super old run, um, they'll have the, the embossing on the bottom. All right, back to Robert. Hey, what's up? I put on this sweet shirt for Paige. <laughs> hey, it matches your shoes, too. It, all, it almost kind of matches almost. my shoes if you want to check it out. So. Whoa. Like enough. I mean, these. this is obviously more of a turquoise, this is more of a blue, but still, we got the pink in there. It's close. We yes. got the DD on the back. Penny asks, how often do you revisit old molds to see if you want to put them back in your bag? Uh, good question. I, well, I kind of made my bag based on, on the first disc I tried. Um, when I just got on Team DD, uh, Emac and I went through the warehouse and he, we threw the same, we were both sponsored by Discraft. Uh, previously and we threw the same kind of discs so he already knew what I was going to want essentially so I knew right away pretty much what I was going to be throwing in um, there were a few discs though that I took out like the harp I replaced with the suspect initially I did grab the harp I haven't revisited that one really but I find everything I need in the suspect um, and then the swan, I used to putt with the swan before the deputy, but since the deputy came out, I found a little bit more glide in the deputy and less of a wavering, waverance? Is that a word? Waverance. I'm going to make that up. <laughs> less of a waverance, like as far as the nose angle. So I haven't revisited the swan either. And... I used to throw the Sheriff. I replaced it with the Ballista Pro, um, and I did revisit the Sheriff. I'm actually bagging both now um, at certain times. So I think it just kind of depends. You just really want to feel confident in the disc in your bag, and if you have a gap, definitely revisit some things that you used to throw, but if you don't have a gap, there's no need to um, add more discs and complicate your bag anymore. Yeah. I like I like trying new discs just to, like, just to see if... Even if there's something in my bag that I really like, if something fills that spot better, I'm like, oh. Yeah. But I'm not, I feel like a lot of people are only going to have the newest thing in their bag all the time. Mm -hmm. I like to have, like, it's got to be something really special to replace something. For you to want to, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the guys on here says, do they offer, do you have these shirts in men's sizes? That's just what they said. It might be a women's. I was just looking at that. But yes, I do. It but like he already has it on, so, you know. It might be a woman's. I don't uh, know. There's a decent chance I'm wearing a lady yes, shirt they... on, uh, on camera. It's fine. <laughs> I have men's. It felt, I thought it might be a little small, but it is very soft, so I'm not going to take it off. <laughs> we, I have men's and women's sizes, yes. All right, so real we'll quick, sure, we got about we'll a little sure over five minutes left, guys. If you want to get your signature or get Paige's signature on a yeah, disc you or have anything, seven minutes left. Seven minutes left. Get your order in, dynamitdisc.com. Put your request in the order notes Does and we'll get her to sign it, it before is. she leaves for... Maybe it is. Oh, good. I don't care. I've done Overseas. dumb things on camera before. It's, it's totally fun. Like what? Oh, Paige, the one with the time. mountain, please make that on a hat. Say that again? This one. Oh, the, make yeah, this on, put a that hat? on a hat? Um, that would make sense on a hat. Yeah. Okay. Kevin? <laughs> where, where are you at, Kevin? <laughs> at Kevin. At Kevin. <laughs> Workforce Wednesday. This guy says it, it, it looks kind of tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it is. Sorry, Val. That was totally my fault. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not mad. I'm just going to roll with it. It's totally fine. Those are... Uh, yeah. 
Thomas says, shame that I have my beard back. Okay, hold on a second. What? I like I have missed beards. having a beard. I didn't want to shave my face, but Bobby and Eric and I were doing No Shave November, so I had to. Um, the last one of these that we did with Pig Bierkus, I had just shaved, and I felt terrible about life. I, did, I did do you? not like Was it like literally like the next day, or? It was like, yeah, within a couple. Yeah. I mean, it was still very like, yeah. Just barely stubble. Yeah. Yeah, I did not. And like people it. let you know, right? Yeah. I saw every, it everyone on said, the... "Who's that guy that just came back from junior prom?" And just, like kinda stuff did like that. Kind of look like that. No. Yeah. That's cool. Hundred percent. That's why I keep a beard because if I don't, I look like a child. Huh. I should grow. And up. if you think I don't get respect, <laughs> if you think I don't get respect right now, imagine how little respect I would get if I looked like a child and was the same. Right. I just ordered mine a few minutes not ago. Much. Would all three of you sign it? Sure. Sign what? Just whatever he whatever just ordered. Whatever it is. All right. Yes, we will. <laughs> For Joel. Joey. Oh, Purple. dear. <laughs> it looked like Robert's younger Purcell. brother was working for DD. Women's Price shirt sell. plus baby Robert would be. <laughs> hey, you are awesome Looking ambassador of disc golf. I wish you nothing but the best. Robert, you're okay, too. Hey, thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> usually, thank you very usually much. Usually it's worse than L. I like... I like that. Evan said I'm looking buff because of the fusion. shirts. Nice. <laughs> Thank Wild you, Evan. Maybe that's, that's a my, pro tip. Dude, that's my new strategy. Wear women's clothes and then you look way stronger than you are for real. <laughs> Bobby don't need women's clothes, though, because he's been in the gym for real. Woo! He's been, Ooh, dude. Flexing. So Bobby lives next door to me, right? And um, I hear his it's truck. As, it's it, as amazing as you would think, living next to It's Robert. great. It, it is great. Hey, we... we have fed you, okay? So this is chill on I owe them a cherry no? cheese pie. We'll get to that. <laughs> and a keto pizza. Yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, I saw that. But no, we've had we've had dinner together. It's been great. But anyway, um, Bobby's truck is on at nearly the same time every morning because he's going to the gym, and I respect it, dude. He's oh, do you hear it? Does it bother you? No, no, no. I just oh. hear it, and then I'm back asleep. But oh, okay. He's killing the game. He doesn't need women's clothes. Oh, see, smiley face I can handle. Yeah, you got that. But, like, if it's anything else, don't even. Oh, this is not what I want. I can do a smiley face. Hope we both had a great 19, 2019 season. Great role model for my kids. Thanks. Robert, I'm okay. T-shirt would be amazing. <laughs> I like that. Could I get all three oh, to sign my smoke slammer I just ordered? Sure thing. <laughs> uh, I'm doing some putting practice while watching this multi- Nice. nice. So do you have, question is, do you have the Trust. basket inside or do you have your computer outside? Just oh. um, Team Warden. This guy Justin says, says Team Warden. Thank you, Justin. We've got, we got lots of, we can cut it with the booing, okay? we got lots of naysayers around here. I'm just glad that some people really, truly still know which team is the best. So thank you, Justin. We don't have any... We don't have any world There's championships no on our team yet. Over. Right. We don't we don't we've got zero world championships, but I've won like three B tiers. Okay. So that's worth something. Okay. Is that uh Joey? Yep, yeah, it's Joey. I There we go. I got to my I'm rated over the thousand, so we got that. Bobby? AJ is on Team Warden, so we got that. AJ was the the video that we made with AJ when he was at the DC. I was I was it was killing me to not laugh cuz he was he's just funny, man. He's a funny guy. Did you see that one? You know I what I'm talking not. about? But I was just looking at AJ right there. By the so, palm tree. So what up, AJ? AJ? Um <laughs> No, we were just talking about like it doesn't really matter what you throw. He was like, "It's about what's in here, man." And I was like, like in your heart, he goes, "No." And then pulls the wardens out from under his sweatshirt. He's like, "You know, this is the way I keep my wardens." Oh my god. It was the best. It was it was a great you didn't know that was gonna happen. It was fantastic. No, I just—it was funny. Oh, okay. I, I was, I I came up with it, but I was laughing because he did it so well. Oh, that way you're laughing because you came up. Because I was like, ha, I'm so funny. <laughs> My I, idea. I came up with the funniest thing. <laughs> Look how much yeah, better that is than before. Yeah, you could work on it though. No, uh, that, that's fine. It's gotten better. That's acceptable. Yeah, it is. It's way better than it's the other one. Definitely acceptable. Definitely acceptable. Whatever, man. My only comment is that it looks like 12. Yeah, but that's better than the other R that I was yeah, doing, which is right. more like a... You're right. The other R is like that. Look at that. Yeah, that's What's not that? Good. What is that? It's freaking garbage is what it is. I can't even think of what that actually looks like. What, what it's supposed to look like is like a cursive... Dang it. Cursive R. Mm -mm. That's what, that's what yeah, a cursive stick, R looks stick like. Stick to that one. Whatever. Come on and slam. 
Oh, here's that smoke slammer that we were yeah. just talking about. Evan, your dreams have come true. Scarlet's killing it. Killing it. Okay, what Dude, Doc doing? says wardens really are the best, though. My VIP shield going through the trees will always have a place Wait, in my back. That's the one he wants all three. Signing. Yeah, oh, no, he, on YouTube he asked for all three of us. Doc, I agree. It is good to have other throwing putters. That's great. But you just got to have just at least one warden in the bag because plain and simple, it's going to make you better. If Paige put him with wardens, then well, probably nothing would change because she's really good. But if you put him with wardens, then you're going to get better. Ah, stop it. I'm not, look at this. Look at this, man. Come on. It slipped. Yeah, okay. All right. You. What goes through your head? Three. What goes, what what goes, goes through, through your head? head? Don't go, you head. <laughs> what goes through your head when you throw a perfect shot and it rolls O B? Okay, well, one if it was other. perfect, it probably wouldn't have went O B. Right? I think, I don't know, it's, I try to be like really, um, I don't know, like, I try to make sure that I'm being like critical of myself because if I think a shot's perfect and it, something bad happens, then how can I fix it? So I try to think of what I can fix to where it wouldn't roll away next time. So chances are it hit the ground with too much speed or too much angle. So I'll just try to correct that on the next one. It's a bummer, but at least uh, if you throw the shot at hand and it goes OB by the basket, at least you have a look at us to save a part. There's sometimes when you're like your shot's headed to the basket and you just get like a really terrible roll yeah. or something like that. And there's not much you can really do about that. Yeah. You know, it's not. It's hard to say don't get upset about it, but it's not even worth getting upset about because you did your job. You just mm -hmm. got super unlucky. The thing that kills me, and I think this is kind of what you were talking about, is when somebody throws, they, they say, I threw a perfect shot and just, just barely skipped OB. Well, no, it wasn't a perfect shot if it was that close to OB. You right. know, like owning up to it, I think, is super important to being able to adjust moving forward. Yeah. Like taking responsibility for your mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah. So if it skipped OB, then maybe aim it a little bit wider and play for that skip. Or aim it at the same spot, but throw throw it a little softer so it doesn't get that skip. So there's always something you can adjust a little bit yeah. to make sure that something unlucky like that doesn't, or has a smaller. Chance of I know. I know that there's some people who kind of have the mentality of um, blame every like blame something on other things on the course, uh -huh. so it doesn't get in your head like you're playing bad. Um, and I, I guess I understand that, but. I don't know. I've always been of the mindset of I would rather know what I'm doing wrong and say, but just admit to myself, like, that was a bad shot. Mm -hmm. um, or here's how it could have been better. Right. Because then it feels, even if I'm playing poorly, it still feels like it's in my control. Instead of if I got really unlucky, I could be like, I could get to the end of the round and say, oh, I got so unlucky, I, I lost five strokes. But if I really threw bad shots, then, like, I need to know that. Yeah. I don't know, man. What do you think the main difference is between the pure and the war den? Pure and the Warden, you said? So the Pure is a little bit shallower than the Warden. Um, the the rims are kind of like a similar shape, but once you get to the top of the Warden, it rises up just a little bit more where the Pure is pretty flat across the top. Stability-wise, they're pretty similar. The Warden has a little bit more stability, but they're, they're pretty close. Um, I throw and putt the Warden, and I think for putting they're really similar for throwing i think the warden just has that little tick more stability to it but they're pretty similar if you had to pick one i would try the warden first um i think it's a little bit more versatile personally but i know that there are some people that swear by the pure and say it's the best thing that was ever made so. right evan, evan said is the felon a better forehand or backhand disc it really depends on which one you're better at i don't yeah you know I, like yeah i I think it's great for both, to tell you the truth. I, I really like it. Yeah, I throw it a lot for, actually for both, for mm -hmm. both. I don't have a, I don't have a opinion more so towards one or the other. I think it works very great for both and it being so flat and fast and overstable, um, it, it works out well anytime you really want to skip um, or just like a fast dumping shot. I use the felon quite a bit, actually. Mm -hmm. I like throwing felons at not that full mm -hmm. speed because it's so easy to control just that fall and sit, yeah. you know? If they're, if they're moving pretty fast, you do get some skip out of them, but if you slow it down just a little, I think 
feel like they just fit so great. I, I like the felon a lot. Very good. What other questions do you guys have? We are officially past the time where you can order online. So if you put in your order for Paige Pierce to sign, thank you so much for doing so. Um, you, One of the best ways that you can support her is by buying the discs that are here, the Lucid X Convict, the Lucid Convict, Biofusion Defender. Uh, we've got some deputies here in the store that she signed, as well as like the highest rated female one and a bunch of bunch of special discs like that but one of the best ways that you can support her is finding her on social media instagram facebook uh, places like that and reach out to her about some of these discs that she's got here we've got the hybrid burst convicts they're all in like a greenish color and they're super sick looking um, i like those a lot and then some bio defenders some deputies lots of special stamps and these yeah and then we got some hoodies and uh, women's shirts here <laughs> There are, there, she said there are men's sizes, so we'll, men. we'll, we'll figure it out shortly. Um, a guy that asked a question, Shocker Repair. He said he placed an order this morning for a convict, and he wants Robert to sign it too. We have no idea what your real name is or your order number, so right. if you can get us one of those, we can certainly do that. Yeah, Shocker, you said something about uh, placing an order this morning, and you wanted uh, Robert to sign your convict. Uh, there's no way for us to find your order, so we need to know at least your order number. And then or we can try name. to, right? Yeah. First or your name, if you want to type your name in the thing. I don't know if Shocker wants good. to keep it, you know, Identity. keep it on the shock yeah. low, keep it on the low. But yeah. So that's that's the ways that you can support Paige. Um, we'll be we'll be live here just for another couple minutes. So if you do have questions for, uh, primarily for Paige Pierce, go ahead and ask those in the chat. We would love to uh, to answer those for you. And if you want my opinion, I'll share it. But I mean, we got the expert here. So Did we'll Paige let her pick me do. a deputy? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I can go pick a deputy. For, for a customer? Go pick I one. guess, yeah. I don't like know how the, easy that is with the... pretty one? What plastic? He just said, did Paige pick me a deputy? Think I saw the Moonshine Emac. Moonshine Emac. I'm printing that order right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What kind of deputy? I'll go look for it. Uh, plastic Blend Burst. Plastic Blend Burst. burst. Okay. Burst. Jason, Paige is going to go find you a deputy. How much are the sign-in? So, I think what he's asking is how much does it cost for Paige to sign a disc. And Rob, the answer to that is $50. Oh, zero dollars. Made out to Bobby. You just need to put it in the order notes that you Check. want. You just need Mail to put it to in the order. order notes that you want Paige to sign it and she'll take care of it for you. You can disregard COD. Bobby Disregard Bobby and put that in the order notes as well. 55 okay. for my signature um, as well. Uh, Joel Shocker Repair got says, got you got it? Okay, sweet. Thanks. Let's see. Um, Evan says, "Which is which you know, bag is the best from your, your women's shirt?" Evan says, "Which bag is the best from Dynamic Discs?" Um, and I think, I think we've got some really really good bags. The one that I use and the one that Paige uses the most is the uh, Ranger bag. We like it because it has really good storage on the bottom, butter pouch on the side, and then uh, good like kind of all-purpose storage up top. So if you have a jacket with you, a hoodie. Uh, towels, things like that. You can put those in there, and it's, it's. I think it sits really comfortably on my back, so I like that a lot. My favorite one, I, one that I think is the best, is the one that holds the discs. That's the best DD bag ever made. Eric Oakley and uh, AJ Risley, and I think I guess Jordan Castro uses that. Chris Clemens, they they all really like the Commander bag, which is a little more, uh, which is a little bit more open on the top. Similar storage. Signature lead me alone. Similar storage to the Ranger. Um, but, uh, but then they've got side pockets where you can put jackets and things like that. So um, I don't really think you can go wrong. The Ranger H2O also has really good um, capacity. It is going to be a little bit heavier because it's got that... Uh, Phil Collins, nice one. Crushing it. Because it's got that molded plastic bottom and the water bladder as well. But um, but yeah, I think those bags are fantastic. <laughs> Super good. That, hey, that song has like the best... Drum beat. So we got someone new that's came in says is Paige signing discs looking to buy a putter for my niece that just recently started playing. Yeah, hurry though. A friend told you me about what? the gavel near never knew there were specific lightweight putters. Yes, you better hurry up and ASM put it in. ASM3R. We hurry. will make an exception for you now, but you have to order this second. Now. <laughs> also, what's it? Jason. Look at this one. Ooh, I signed it with silver too. Nice on the match. That's sweet. I like You're the like silver it. look on there. You're going to like it. Going out today. Doc, I like this proposal. He says, Robert, yeah. next next bet, Bobby has to wear that exact same shirt if he loses. Love it. Hey, but by that time, maybe I'll be... I extra uh, small. Dude, come on. Do what? I have women's extra small. <laughs> yeah, right. I could be cuter. 
Hey, -o. hey. Air mail. All right, shocker. Kaiser mail. This is yours, my man. I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna do my very best as well. Nice. Do you this repair is, shocks? This is service right here. Not only do you get to custom pick your stamp and color and weight, you get to watch it being packed up. It's pretty great. ASM3R says ordering now. All right. Snag. Nice. We got a couple wide receivers over here. Did you guys see that game last night with Derrick Henry? Plus are unbelievable. Dude was on okay, speaking one. Speaking of, actually, this is a good one. Yeah, okay. Speaking of, did you see that his shirt was like a crop top? No, but I loved it. Okay. I respect it. <laughs> like after his first touchdown, he like ran 99 yards. Or second one, he ran right. 99 yards. Best like, yeah, but he needs a new shirt because like his yeah, entire stomach was showing. <laughs> did you see the close up of his eyes? We were remarking you, on it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like he's terrified. Looks like he was wearing one of these. Though. TJ hinted that. That's true. Uh, like TJ Henderson. TJ says, how do I order a signed disc? TJ, you have three minutes to go to dynamicdiscs.com, put in your order, and put in the order notes that you would like. Let's page just do appears. it till three. It's okay. We, you have 50 minutes <laughs> to go to dynamicdiscs.com. 2.45, 2.45. I want to leave by three. You have 34 <laughs> minutes to go to dynamicdiscs.com, put in an order, and put in the order notes that you'd like Paige Pierce to sign your disc for you. She will accommodate your request at no charge to you. Awesome. awesome. Robert, any chance on the website we can have a spot to know who's in location to sign disc? So, the well, challenge you, with that is, what is that? I mean, if you, like, are following any sort of platform that DD's on. Facebook or Instagram is probably the fastest way. Marketing and promotion as far as these events. So you'll always know what's going on. This question is for Paige. Cowboys or Eagles this weekend? Cowboys. Duh. Is that a question? Carson Wentz is washed up. Oh, but TJ wants the green convict. Yeah, so that's going to be different. TJ says I want the green convict. How do I order it? TJ, how you order it is you look up Paige Pierce on Facebook. All right, you're going to find her. You're going to send her a message that says, Hello, Paige Pierce. My name is TJ Henderson. I would like a green <laughs> hybrid convict. And then she's going to work with you and send it to you. But you need to do it sooner rather than later because she's leaving the country on Sunday. So if you get it done today, she'll try and get it in the mail ASAP right now, for you. Bam. Bam. Jason only thanks us a little bit. He says, thanks you all some much. So okay. not all the much, <laughs> just some. So. I know, so I know. Much. He meant some much. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question. Evan says, what plastic is best for Ballista Pro for distance? Looking to get one now. I love, okay, there's one orange disc in that box. Driver. Uh, like more orange. That's like kind of mustard. It's on the side. Yeah, there you that's go. the one. Um, I love these Opto ones. They are super domey and pop top. I actually, these are the ones that I carry in my bag right now. Um, and they are super overstable at the end of the flight, but they're really versatile because like you can, you can put a good turn on them and they'll hold for a majority of the flight. And then I would say maybe the last 20 or 30% of its flight, it'll stable out and hyzer. Um, so it's really good about fighting that turn that you put on it and it's so fast. Um, but yeah, I, I swear by these things. I've been, I've been bagging them since last year at a gentleman's club and definitely haven't left my bag since and will not. Um, yeah. But yeah, the Opto ones are my favorite. I carry quite a few Ballista Pros as well, and they I love them. I, I carry an Opto, and then I've got um, a couple of the Gold Line ones. They uh, The reason I like the Gold Line is they start off, um, if they're as domey as the ones that I have, they start off even more overstable than those, but they work in uh, a little bit more quickly than Opto plastic, and they're just bonkers. Mm -hmm. Incredible. That's, uh, I'm throwing my farthest shots with Ballista Pros right now mm -hmm. uh, over any other disc in my bag. I'm if you, my farthest shots I've ever thrown with them. It's crazy. Yeah. If you go to uh, YouTube and check out the casual round or the practice round with Jordan Castro, uh, spoiler alert, you'll see me throw farther than Zach Melton and Jordan Castro what? on one of the holes. It's not really a big deal, but it's kind of a big deal, and I called my mom and told her about it. Did you? Nice. No, but, was she proud but it was of you? Awesome, or? Of course. Nice. Okay. She said you finally did something worthwhile. Right. I said thank you, mom. You're back, You're back in uh, Christmas. Dinner. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can be invited again. Uh... 
Billy asks if I'm going to make any Texas tournaments in 2019. I would love to make some Texas tournaments in 2019. I just don't know which ones they'll be. Um, I don't have the uh, I don't have my schedule planned out as far during the year as these guys do because we've got events come up here and there, things that we need to stay in town for or go out of town for. So my my Texas tournaments most of the time are just kind of spur of the moment. Yeah, but D I know Dee Dee Carrollton they run a lot of Texas tournaments. Yeah, they're they on just it. posted their schedule for the ones they'll be running. Yeah. If you can make some of those, man, Steve O, Brad, Johnny, all those guys, they crush it down there. I just played one of their Flex Start Fridays the other day and which is a one round C tier. Um, that travels around every Friday it's at a different course in Dallas and they had hundred and thirty two players and they had the results up like as each card came in, it was yeah. posted online with the rating and the payout and all that. It's crazy. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Drew also, says... That new RV looks amazing. It looks super good, right? Wow. It turned out really good. Drew says, if I order a putter for my daughter, will Paige still sign it? She is six and loves watching you play. Drew, she will still sign it. As long as you order it before 2.45, that is 30 minutes from now. If you order that, we'll get Paige to sign it for you. Just put it in the order notes that you'd like her to sign it. Get a deputy. Get a deputy, she says. Fantastic choice. Uh, Alex says, if I ordered a warden right now, hashtag team warden, thank you, um, how many signatures could I get on it? Well, in the store, we've got, Lots of looks like nine, nine people in the store right now. Only, I think only one of them really is team warden, so I can just sign it nine times for you, and that'll be better. So just go ahead and order that, put that in the order notes, and I'll take care of that for you, Alex. Thank you for your Do question. That. Need a new faster driver, throw a Paige Pierce, faster forehand driver, throw a Convict for that drive currently. So something that flies faster. like a Convict for forehands, but a little bit faster. Um, if you're throwing the Lucid Convict, I'm not sure what plastic Convict you're throwing, um, but a little bit faster, maybe like a an Enforcer, a Bio Enforcer, um, that's kind yeah. of beaten. Mm -hmm. um, I'm throwing a Bio Defender for a lot of sidearms, faster sidearms that I want to hyzer out at the end. Um, and I kind of work with those different stabilities. Um, bio is a good versatile plastic that beats in a little bit, so it has stability at the end, but as it beats in, it'll kind of get more and more glide as it as it can kind of work more. Yeah, we also might try, um, when we have Lucid X Trespasses available again, the tr that, do we have Trespasses right now, Lucid X? If we do. You should check out a Lucid X Trespass. Um, I think it flies a lot, especially for forehands. It'll be like a little bit faster convict, a little bit more stability than a normal Lucid Trespass. Um, I think it's a super worthwhile nice. trip. Yeah, I'm day. working on that disc right now. It's in, you. My, it's in my bag in the van. Brandon says, can I have Robert and Paige sign my convict if I order right now? Brandon, you can. You can have us sign it. Just put we in got, the order notes that you'd like to. We got Joel running around getting orders. Ballista though. Joel in the house. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to order one page to pick me out any lightweight disc she wants, and I'll order it. Okay, so Rob says he wants you to pick out him out a lightweight disc. Anyone that you want, and he'll Anyone order it. Anyone that I want, lightweight. Anyone you want. Um, do we have lightweight convicts, or what? Do hey, we do have we have lightweight convicts? They do. Prefer classic? Lucid. We'll keep on rolling while, the, while we check on that. Caleb says, I really like the Nova from Innova. Does DD make any putters that approximate the Nova? So as far as the flight, definitely a deputy. But we don't have the the uh, overmold, if that's what you're looking for. We don't have those. But the flight definitely is the deputy. It's a nice straight to flippy uh, putter that just glides for days. It's definitely the deputy. But yeah, it won't feel like the Nova by any means. 170 on the lightweight. Rob, we've light got a 170 for convict for you. Let us know if that will work for you. It's got a super shield, super sweet wheat shield stamp. Here it is. If uh, if Rob, if this is what you're looking for, go ahead and let us know. Oh, wait, we will. I have these. We'll these tell are you 168. Oh, we got we got some 168 hybrids that Paige can get to you directly if you'd like to do that. Just let us know. Um, all right. So yeah, uh, I think Deputy is a great choice. What I throw in that spot is a classic blend Warden. Um, I like it because it does have that glide um, and just a, a good stability. For me, it goes really straight, or if I get on it hard, 
move it to the right. The blend makes it a little bit more right. Uh, but I've also thrown it for a long time, yeah. so it's pretty, it's pretty worked in right now. How do you guys feel if I start snacking right here? Start right? snacking. Do you, you think? Got you got a cookie? Oh yeah, you got an Amanda cookie. Hey, oh, if you're, yeah. you when got you're, a butt uh, cake and a cookie. Huh? I know that all you guys watching are planning on coming to the Blast Open. Um, oh my gosh. Chocolate chip. What, you want some? Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Um, when you come to the Glass Blown Open, you need to visit Paige Pierce's favorite spot in town. It's also, called. tell her to sponsor me. It's I called Amanda. Spend all my money there. We're gonna have to holler at Amanda about sponsorship, <laughs> but um, you need to go to Amanda's. It's on Commercial Street. It is not super well marked, so you need to kind of know where you're going. It's a green awning outside, but incredible sandwiches, mm, great mm. desserts, but. And I, I am not joking. I come from a long line of cinnamon roll lovers. And I'm telling you that these cinnamon rolls are the best cinnamon rolls that I've ever had. Bar none, they are incredible. So you have to check it out. Amanda's, write it down. Put it on your schedule. You'll probably see Paige Pierce there at GBO. You will. They close, they close at 3, so just be weary. I tried to tell Doug I need to tee off earlier so I can still make it there before they close. <laughs> This cookie is incredible, thank you for sure. You're welcome. Shocker says, I have yet to throw the Warden, but I bagged the Marshall. How does the Warden compare to the Marshall? They're pretty similar in stability. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Come on. The Marshall out of the box... Or, sorry, the Marshall is just a little bit deeper than the Warden. Um, otherwise, I think they're pretty similar stabilities. The Marshall might be a hair more overstable out of the box. That's about, that's about it. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Out of the box, the Marshall has got a nice overstable finish, but as it beats in, and I throw it in the blend plastic, um, it just goes so straight. Um, I'll kind of mess good with, with it. The 170. He wants that 170. Um, did he order? It? He or? says, "Should I order it on yes, DD.com? On DD.com, this is what you're looking for. It's Lucid Convict, and it says Wheat Shield, yellow 170. That's what you need right there, Rob. Check it out. Is the Fusion Judge a good thrower, Tyler? Verifiably, yes. Super good thrower. Um, Paige Burek has, uh, has just had her um, signature ones come out. And I, you know, I'm on Team Warden. Uh, but I want to support my friends, right? So so I picked up a, a, a Fusion Judge and I've been throwing it around a little bit. And it's really, really good. Um, nice and straight with just a subtle left finish. Good stability with some wind. I, I actually really like it a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be making the switch. I don't know if I want to support her like that much you know <laughs> but i did purchase it so you know mission accomplished did Let's, you get a discount uh no discount okay she's she drives a hard bargain yeah, in fact she, she charged me more dollars what i know it's rude she's like oh for you she charges higher for team warden yeah <laughs> for team warden only uh robert is a soft warden pretty good too i i like the soft warden i prefer the blend for throwing but Soft is good for those approach shots that you want to just sit by the basket. I like that a whole lot. Drew said he just placed uh, his order for his daughter, so we'll have that shortly. Thanks, Drew, for putting in your order. That's awesome. Will Didi make St. Patrick's Day edition discs or apparel? Whoa. I don't know the answer to that. That's a, That seems like a good idea. Um, this seems like he likes St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, for sure. He's He wants to party and then apologize for it right after. It's perfect. Um, <laughs> I, uh, you know, sorry for partying. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. St. Patrick's Day is my dad's birthday. It's also my dog Walter's birthday, so I care a lot about it. We're probably going to make it happen. Nice. There it is. Okay. Shocker says, so Marshall is better than the Warden. It really depends on who you ask. Um, I prefer the Warden, but there are some people who prefer the Marshall, so you know we'll see. I like the Marshall. Um... Andy says, if I wanted something with a tick more stability than a trespass, what would be better, Defender or Ballista Pro? Um, then the trespass? I would say, well, the Ballista Pro is quite a bit faster. What speed is the trespass? 12? Yeah. So the Ballista Pro is quite a bit faster. Um, they're both going to be a tick more overstable, but the Ballista is going to go a little bit farther. Um, the Defender, especially if you get these domey ones like this, they are going to, when they lose speed, they're going to dump quite a bit over yeah, to the really left. Yeah, really stable. Um, when they lose speed, they find it going quick. When the Ballista loses speed, it glides a little bit farther before it hits the ground. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Uh, Doc Zen says, what is the wheat shield? 
Doc, the weak shield is just a stamp that we've come up with. Um, it's just, we were just trying to figure out a way to describe it. We've got some wheat here on the sides, you know, just to kind of signify where we're Kansas. from. I don't know if you've driven through Kansas before, but lots of wheat. Um, and so, yeah, that's just what we call this stamp right here. Um, let's see. Tyler says, Paige, can you pick me a Fusion Judge Bjorkus and I will buy it. Do we got them? I think we got them. Yeah, where are they at? Where are they at, though? Where they at? Where they at? The I'm guessing you want the swirliest, prettiest one. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna want to get a good one, so we'll get some of those here in just a second. Darren says, just ordered a, a disc for a friend for Christmas. He's her number two fan. Behind? I don't yeah, know. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe Darren's your, your number one fan. Maybe. We'll see. But thank you for ordering. Yeah. Uh, we will we'll get that signed for you soon. Awesome. You guys better hurry if you want your order coming in. This yeah, we got we got 20 minutes left. Well, the mail lady's here. That's what and I'm yeah, the mail's about to go out oh. right now. I so. mean, if you want it to go out today, get on it. otherwise it'll go. Out today. Get on. Okay, we got a couple of judge options here. Oh, definitely that other one. That's the one. Yeah. All right, here. Uh, let's see, Tyler. Bang. There's your fusion judge. Wait, let me see that one. It's got a rainbow stamp. We also got. We got this option on the Fusion oh, Judge. Oh, it might have to be this They're one, both actually. pretty sick. The so rainbow looks good. We'll there. see what we end up with. Here. This is the one. Okay, okay, we're gonna go with this one with the purple with the rainbow stamp. I like it. It's like periwinkle. Mr. Dark Hawk 1972 says, um, "Hi, KG. Do you have any more of your Lucid Deputies?" I don't have any. Oh, Lucid Deputies. No, I don't. Those were gone quite a while ago. Actually, like the day I ordered them, those sold so quick. They're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I do Legendary know. E, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Brandon just ordered. Thank you for ordering, Brandon. Uh, Chris says, what's the better plastic as far as stability for a casual disc golfer? I throw a lot of Lucid. Should I grade down to Fusion or BioFusion? Um, so... For me personally, I prefer Lucid in fairway drivers and down, um, but for, def um, I'm sorry, for higher speed drivers, I like the bio. Uh, they beat in a little bit, and so you have different like stabilities in the same mold. For me, it's the Defender. Um, that way I have brand new bios that are very overstable at the end, and the more beat in ones are straighter, so I can eliminate some of the variables and throw the same disc just with different stabilities. Um, but I like the Lucid as far as it just holding its same, uh, same like beat in this for longer. Yeah. Like they, they keep true to their flight longer because it's the most premium plastic and yeah, I think being a casual disc golfer doesn't necessarily affect what I would say because we all hit the same amount of trees, you know, but it just depends like if you like your discs beat in or if you like them to be more true to how they initially flew. If that's the case, I would say lucid. Yeah, I agree with that. And I, I also wouldn't say that that you'd be grading down from lucid to fusion. I think they're both pretty similar as far as their durability goes. Biofusion is a little less durable, but like Paige said, that allows you to cycle them just a little bit mm -hmm. more. Rob, what was the disc name? This is the Lucid Convict Wheat Shield. That's what you need. Yellow 170. Lucid Convict Wheat Shield. 170. Uh, Matt says, my fiance has been living in her Paige Pierce long sleeve shirt for about a week now. Nice. Thanks for making my significant other smelly, Paige. <laughs> How dare you? You can come over. She'll sign something for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just saw you at the coffee shop. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Is there a bead dynamic stamp? Somewhere, Doc. If you don't see it online, we don't have it available right now, though. Spaceship Euphoria says, what does the fool's yeah, no gold color look so, like? Um, hey, like Joel, what does the yeah. fool's uh, gold I'll color look like? I'll be playing about the same tournaments. Like, fool's gold yeah, color? big ones and maybe a couple more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's like that copper kind of, kind of stamp? Same, okay. Same there you go, space, Spaceship. Yeah, yeah, that copperish kind of oh, color. Yeah, yeah sure. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jason says, grab a convict and a moonshine emac for me. I'm going for round two here. You pick, I pay. <laughs> a convict and a moonshine emac. Convict and a moonshine emac. Okay. Paige will be back shortly with those discs for you. Tyler, ooh, that's a good choice. Tyler, this is a 174 judge. That's the one. Let's see. 
Rob, did you catch that? Lucid Convict, Wheat Shield, Yellow 170. That's what you need. Paige, are you coming back to Canadian Nationals in 2019? I don't know. Don't ask me about that. She says she doesn't know yet. She's working on it. Sweet, thanks. It's the same weekend as Nantucket. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Hey, we have the Peter McBride Moonshot Peanuts. I think it may be sold out. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Paige, what's your go-to snack during the round? Paige oh. is like an in-round snacker deluxe. I like am she not is ready. an in-round. I am oh. an all-time all, life yes. snacker. Oh, we got a payment just now. You'll, okay, we'll nice. send your disc out today Sweet. like when this is done. Um, yeah, I am an all-time snacker. If I don't have a snack on me, it's probably not a happy, smiling Paige. If you ever see me not smiling... <laughs> Hand me some food. Um, and, then, and then we're good. Yes, we'll be good. Um, I, I couldn't ever tell you my go-to because it's always changing. I make sure to have a variety. I don't discriminate. Um, because you gotta have sweet, you gotta have salty, you gotta have crunchy, you gotta have soft, you gotta have juicy. So I have it all, really. That's the, another benefit of living in the van. I got a snack cabinet. Um, and cart life too. You can carry a lot life. more snacks with cart life. Zuko with the Ranger it just opens right into the heaven of snacks <laughs> right there. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say grapes. grapes. They gotta be good though. Like I'm definitely, if you see me in the grocery store, I will be trying the grapes before 100%. I buy them. I respect it. They gotta be crispy. All right. You get that one, I'll get an Emac Truth real quick. Yeah, but if they got the Peter McBride one, those are the good ones. Or a bar stamp, if not. Those are cool. Oh, the gavel's sweet. I have one of my few, I only have 12 aces, maybe 13, but one was with a gavel at the Emporia Middle School course. Oh, really? Yeah, that's fun. Uh, What's your most recent ace? Uh, most recent ace. I still the world's one. Oh no, I aced at um I aced in Iceland this summer right. with a Marshall. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh so they only have one 18 hole course. The second one's getting put in currently actually, but so we went to one of the courses and all of the holes are reachable. Which kind of sucks if you're like a tournament player and you want to go like play a challenging course, but it's really cool because all their courses are like in very trafficked parks, so it has so many eyes on it. Um, and yeah, I hit basket twice that round and then aced the last hole. That's it. so sick. Yeah, man. that's cool. Uh, Jason, we've got your convict and your moonshine emac truth. Do you want Paige to sign those as well? I assume you do, but just in case, let us know. Um, if so, here's what you got. Orange 174 Lucid X Convict. That's what you want to look for. Orange 174. And then <laughs> this is a freaking sweet Moonshine Emac Truth. 173 Moonshine Emac Truth. Uh, yeah. Bar stamp. It's, it's pretty cool. Bar stamp. That's the one. Let us know if you need anything else with that. Sign that one. Oh, nice. Bullets Pro. Yeah, that one looks good. Milky, too. Hello. What's up, Keith? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Ooh. Whoa. That's a sweet misprint. I like that. <laughs> yes. That is beautiful. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, no problem. Have you thrown yeah. one of the Glow yeah, Bullets Pros yet? Uh -uh, not yet. I hear they're amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is also what I hear. Whoa, <laughs> this guy oh. just messaged me on Facebook and said he wants to. That's a nice one. All right. Oh, yeah. Tyler. Mavericks are good. Tyler, Tyler. All right, Tyler. So we need to put in the order notes. Tyler, Tyler. What is the is back that of this? Is his last name too? I think so. That's cool. Uh, the order notes is just Paige Biricus Fusion Burst Judge Blue. That's what you want. Once we have that, we've got your disc set aside. That one's good to go. Uh, Spaceship says just ordered a Fool's Gold Hand Eye Judge. Can I get both both Pages and Robert to sign the bottom of it? Sure thing, make sure and put it in the order notes. Um, and Paige Pierce and I are here right now. Paige Bjorkas might come by a little bit later on today, so probably won't go out right this second, but we'll get it taken care of for you. He said he already ordered this one. Okay, sweet. We just saw so, the paper. Yeah, so we'll get it soon. Go for it. 
Should we just go collect like the prettiest looking discs and bring and them back? And then just bring them here and say, here, order this. <laughs> I feel like we'd probably get in trouble doing that. Would we? Yeah, maybe. Okay. All right. Hey, we got a... Uh... Thank you, man. We got 11 minutes left. If you want you to... you want to sign this one too? Yeah. If you want to order and have Paige Pierce sign your disc for you, you need to go to dynamicdiscs.com, put your order in your cart, and when it gets to the order notes, say who you would like to have sign it. Paige Pierce will be here signing these for 11 more minutes. Do not miss your opportunity. Literally say it out loud. Once. I'm taking Rosetta Stone right now. Are you? Uh -huh. Once. For Croatia? No, Dose. for Spain. Oh, for Spain. So you think they speak Spanish they in Croatia? Might, yeah. okay. <laughs> they might speak. Sounds right. Croatia. Might, she might run into Spanish people there. What do you think that they speak in Croatia? Croatia? Croatia. Croatia. To Clint. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'll only be in Croatia for like 10 days, so I figured. How much might run? I don't need to learn that language. If you do have any more questions for Paige Pierce, we've got 10 more minutes on camera. Drop those in the chat, and we will answer them to the best of our ability. Thank you, ma'am. How's it going? How's it going? How are you? <laughs> they speak Croatian, which is similar to Bosnian. Bosnian. Okay. Hey, Rob, I just saw your uh, I just Serbian. saw your comment on there. Um, hey, Joel, who should I have Rob email just to communicate with you guys for a second? Just retail at dynamicdisc.com. Rob, if you email retail at dynamicdisc.com, we can get you the details for this disc so that you can order it. So, retail at dynamicdiscs.com. I'll get you taken care of. What disc? It's a uh, 170 Lucid Convict Wheat Shield. This one here. The other. All right. Let's see. It's online. double check that already. Chris says, is Paige going to try to play Whistler's Doubles again in 2019? Ooh. Try? Yes. Will I make it happen? I'm not quite sure yet. I gotta check the schedule. Since it's not sanctioned, it's kind of a secondary thing. It worked out perfectly this year as far as uh, it falling on an off weekend. But, uh, it, you know, if there's a big tournament in the area uh, that same weekend, I'll probably have to go to that. But that was so fun. And I actually didn't get to float the river, so I gotta make it back there so I could do so. Nice. My, oh, right to Katie. Let's see. Doc says DSN Disc Shopping Network. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go for that. Lori Grenier is going to walk around the corner in a second, and it's going to be great. Sweet, thanks, ma'am. Yeah. All right, this one is for Happy Fifth Birthday, Audrey. Nice. That's pretty cool. Happy Fifth Legendary E, you said, where do I put my payment information? If you go to checkout on dynamicdiscs.com, it'll take you through the whole process. Pretty self-explanatory. You'll knock it out. Alex says, sweet, that's my warden. Thank you so much. Thank you for ordering that. We appreciate that. Jason says, purchase made. These are headed your way then, my friend. Excited to have those for you. Just bought a white Trilogy Challenge deputy asked for Paige to sign it. Hope I get to see her signing it. If it gets over here in time, we will make it happen for you. Tangerine Warehouse says that you'll love Croatia. I'm I'm pretty confident pretty in that stoked as on well. It. I've looked up a lot of things. It's it's the size of the state of Maine, and they have eight national parks. It's like pretty I mean, much that's awesome. Yeah. I'm interested. Amazing. Paige, what's your favorite course? Uh, Maple Hill. Wista, Wista, Massachusetts. I like it. Hands down. Wista. 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 Um, all right, let's see. Paige. Oh, freaking! Look at this. Thanks, Bobby. What happened? We got Paige sitting with Paige right here. Whoa. Whatever. Um, Paige, are you planning on being port in Portland for the Pro Tour event? Yes. I yeah. think so. Dustin and Zoe, both Team DD members and two of my best friends, they are co-TDs for the tournament. Nice. Along with Jeff Spring. So, uh, I mean, that's basically an all-star team of TDs. Amazing, yeah. right? Ballers. And two weeks before is the Beaver State Fling, so it lines up perfectly to have three weeks in Oregon, which is one of my favorite states. So, yeah. I haven't been. I want to. You got to. I feel like Shay would love to go, too. Yes. That would be like one of these years. Trip. 
That was so much fun. You could just go for a weekend or something. Yeah, all we got to do is just go. It's yeah, just go. <laughs> yeah, just go. It's no big deal. Right. You, just, you just go. Oh, really? Six minutes remaining Six for you to minutes, order fresh your own. discs. <laughs> oh. 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 And have Paige Pierce sign them for you. Um, oh. Shocker Pierce says, find me the prettiest Max Weight Classic Blend Warden. I want to try one out because of Robert. Shocker. Whoa. I will do that for you, man. Because I care. And because I want to welcome everyone to Team Warden. We don't discriminate. If you've tried other putters, that's fine. You're still welcome. We're, we will welcome you to Team Warden. I'll go pick that out in just a second. Uh, yeah, but it's not about where you're going or where you are. It's where, you're, where you end up. Yeah. And everyone's going to end up with Team Deputy. Well, that's fair. We'll welcome you in the meantime <laughs> while you're on your way to Team Deputy. Let's see here. Steve Sanders, thanks for tuning in, my man. Raining here in Texas, what is it like there? You know, it's kind of sunny, actually. There was a little clouds out earlier, but it's uh, mid to upper 30s, and the sun's out. And I see the American flag waving in the wind out there, so maybe a little wind. But haven't been outside in a little bit. Been doing a media day, so... Yeah, what else do we got? Bobby, when do we get a couple's disc golf video with the pros with their significant other? Tina and Eric film videos of themselves playing together all the time, so you can check that out on the Whale Pants blog. Whale Pants. You can call my cell phone. Oh, that's Oh, that's Joel. Joel. Nice. Dang, handing out the phone number all right on there. All right, here you go, shocker repair. Are there any prime judges with the Iron Man stamp? I don't know. If we've got them listed on the website, they are available. Whoa, Bobby's out there by my van. <laughs> all right, shocker repair, here you go, man. Classic Blend Warden. This is the best looking one on the shelf. Red with some black swirl uh, burst in there. And then we also got... It's almost like a purplish kind of stamp. Super duper cool. I think you're gonna like it. What you need to go to the website and order is Classic Blend Burst Warden Red Slash Pink 175. Order that, this will come your way. That's what you need. Oh, another warden. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Let's go, Team Deputy. Team Warden! Last Hashtag ad. Time for a four minute push for Team Deputy. Four minutes. Do you wanna make a side bet in the next four minutes? I'm always going for a side bet. Okay. In the next four minutes, <laughs> Paige and I are making a side bet which putter will get ordered more between the deputy and the warden. Okay. Stake your claim on one of the teams what now. What are we betting? What we're betting is uh, one cinnamon roll from Amanda's. Okay, deal. Deal. Okay, somebody Thank you says, in advance for giving me the cinnamon roll to all you guys who order wardens. I ordered a white junior judge. If it gets to Paige in time, make it out to Abby. I think we just signed two junior white judges, so I... I think maybe that was yours, hopefully. Sweet. If not, we'll sign it anyway. Just FYI, deputy just ordered. Dang it! Deputy ordered yeah. up! Deputy's up one. one. For Paige. But I mean, we have to count one warden because I just. Like, no, that's not no. Warden. You didn't announce it yet. That's real. Let's see. Okay. Robert the warden, and you guys are awesome. Thanks. You are awesome. Yeah. Jennifer. A quick round of applause via your living room or wherever you're watching for Scarlett pulling all. For just orders. killing the game, just just crushing the game. She's pulling them as you guys receive them. All right, let's see. We got. Oh, here we go. We need a different box. Nice. Thank you. All right, we got. Let's see. Back, back to the questions. Doc says, always hear about Robert's wife, Shay. Would love to see them play. Um, my wife yeah. will play disc golf really every once in a while. Um, we actually went and played a doubles tournament. Here you go. We went and played oh, yeah. a doubles tournament, mixed doubles, and we came away with the W, the victory, the number one spot. It was fantastic. And... I heard about this. We second. beat Paige Burkus and her partner, Alex Luthi. I didn't want to make a big deal about it, but since you asked, it was fantastic. Ooh. And we definitely didn't talk a lot of trash. 
Only a little. Good? Only a little bit. <laughs> you, you guys. You guys All right. Want first one, one on deputy. That's true. Oh, yeah, whatever, man. No, that's not the first one. That was ordered before. Oh, was it? Oh, yes, it was. It tells you what time. Look at the, the time, man. This is before. That's the. Uh, just had a Page warden. Robert and Bobby. This guy um, uh -oh. just, just got a warden. Yeah. yeah. One, to one. yeah. Dang it. one minute left. Dang it. More wardens. <laughs> Somebody's got to bring it. Somebody ordered twenty wardens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twenty. This guy just messaged me and asked if a uh, little piece could sign it too. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get rolling on some more questions. I recently lost a Star Leopard 3 that was great for 60% shots and slight hyzer flips that finished left. What DD disc would you suggest to fill that spot in my bag? Awesome, we have just the disc for you. Is the Dynamic Discs Maverick, and you are going to love it. Um, I threw, Bobby. Bobby. Huh? You signed that? Oh. I threw Leopards back in the day as well before I was sponsored by Dynamic Discs, and I think the Maverick has a really comparable flight to that. Um, for me, nice uh, subtle hyzer that'll cool that'll flip up to flat and then move to the right if I want it to. If I need to lean off it a little, it'll just go really, really straight. So check that out. The Maverick. You're going to like it. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah, he said. Yeah, he, he said. And here he did, yeah. Very sheer. There's that. Okay. Doc says, got to be warden. Thank you. Jason says, deputy. No, thank you. Uh, Caleb yeah. says, warden. Thank you. Yeah, but they didn't order, so it doesn't Steve count. Steve Sanders says, sorry, judge, every day. Definitely both of us say no, thank you. Just kidding. They're all really good. Uh, I'm team warlock, but I don't have a lucid warden because they don't make a warlock and that champion type plastic. We ought to just throw the... the Lucid Warden, and you'll just be fine. I mean, no one's going to be upset about it. What's this one from? Uh, that's the one I had uh, picked for Shocker Repair. Oh. So, Shocker Repair, let me know when you place that order. We got this. Does he replace shocks ready for in cars? Or I think what? so. I think so. All right. Let's see. Uh, are there any hybrid wardens? It would be super cool to have Robert sign one since I missed out on the AJ Risley Team Series hybrid warden. Mike, I got a little insight for you. Come in 2019. <gasps> It's not a Robert McCall, but it is an A.J. Risley hybrid warden, possibly with some colors. Think about it. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited. Still a tie at 1-1. One, one. We're 1-1 one, one on judges and, and uh, sorry, tie goes on to the wardens champ, and deputy. Right? That's what I kind of heard. I have never heard tie goes to the champ. That I think I heard that. That doesn't sound like a phrase I've heard I before. think I heard that one. I, I think I've heard it about four times. Yeah, yeah. J Just now? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. 11, 13, 15. Okay, so... Uh, so, Mike, we do not have hybrid wardens in stock right now. We do have lucid wardens. They are fantastic. You should check them out. Uh, but if you're going to wait on a hybrid warden, AJ Risley waffle wardens, those are going to be coming in the future. Keep your eyes peeled. Do we still have a um, microwave back there in the back? Oh, for your uh, Yeah, I beverage. didn't drink it in time. Could be coffee. Five bucks. For five bucks. Order place for that burst warden. Hashtag team warden. Shocker repair. My man. Okay. I, no, that was he before. was after the time. That's that was two forty four. The time. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> but I, that might have been the warden that was ordered. So it was. was. I just bought it you was. a you know sure. last week. I know. We better to buy another one. Okay. What's the best plastic for putting with the deputy? Um. Warden. <laughs> Don't I, I use right now I'm using the prime burst um, but I kind of just switch back and forth between whatever's pretty they all fly the same as far as I honestly I just want them to be stiff I don't like the blend or the soft I'll either do the classic card or the prime um, and then as far as like what color or whatever that's just kind of personal preference um, but I like the hard putters because they don't have as much wobble when they're coming out of your hand and uh yeah they hold up well i agree on the stiffer plastic for whatever reason um I, we always hear people say that softer plastic grabs the chains a little bit better that may be true but if it doesn't feel good to me it doesn't really matter to me if it grabs the chains better like if it's not hitting the chains then it doesn't <laughs> matter if it catches them better. So it I want something that feels, to your yeah, hand, I want too. something that I feel confident when I'm holding it. Like I'm going to make this, I feel confident. So. The hard ones, like they just slide out of your grip and Real nice. the soft ones, you kind of can like 
morph your hand into the disc and so it catches sometimes for me. Yep. Oh, here's the one on the yeah. junior disc. Junior we disc are and the getaway. It to Abby, Bam. Right? Yes. Yep. To Abby. She can only sign both. Oh, we can just sign both. No problem. All right, let's keep on moving. I love these live events so much. Can't being can't imagine being a part of any other uh, any other disc family. Justin, thanks so much, man. We really enjoy getting to do this. Um, I, I guess I shouldn't speak for Paige. I really enjoy getting to do this. But uh, I'll, I'll speak for her in that I know every time she comes to town, it's always exciting to see how many people are excited to see her and how great she is for signing all the stuff, taking time to hang out with the fans. Two deputies. Two classic deputy Paige Pierce limited edition. This game sucks. <laughs> Joshua Brendel. Joshua, first of all, I would Thank like to you, say Josh. you Thank are public you. enemy number one to this me. This is a team effort. I couldn't have done it without you. If you come to the glass blown open, I will not say hello to you. What? Yeah, you will. I'm joking. Yeah, you will. I'm joking. You win this time. Congratulations to Paige Pierce for selling more deputies. It's kind of standard stuff at this point. Whatever. Oh, this is. Oh, this is the fool's gold that he was talking about. That's really cool. Don't forget I like to it. remind people that Dimax cannot be signed. Yes. If you're ordering Dimax discs for Paige Pierce to sign, you will have to wait a long time. Uh, the the orders that you can have for a sign are just the discs that we have in store here. Um, so Dimax have to be made off-site. They're custom-made. So please do not ask her to sign those. Thank you. Robert. That for me? Yep. That's really cool. I'm just going to keep yeah, my Sharpies over here. Let's go with the next question here. Yeah. When you sign it, DD put it like... DD Defender or West Side Giant? Of course the Defender. Um, I actually haven't really messed with the Giant, so that's not super fair for me to say, but I did used to throw the King, and so I feel like there's anything similar. Um, Giant's pretty overstable. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Before we had Enforcers, yeah. Before we had Enforcers, that's what Giants were what most everybody threw. Um, I'd say the Defender and Giant are pretty comparable. Defender's probably a little faster. A Judge and a crisp high five. Oh! Damn, that was not good. Oh! oh. That's right. Okay, and <laughs> a thousand throws with a Lucid and a thousand throws with the Bio. Would they lose the same amount of stability or would the Bio lose more? Well... Bio lose a little bit more. I would say the Bio would lose more. I would say the bio would lose more. It also kind of depends on how many of those thousand hit trees. But yeah, <laughs> if they hit True. the same amount of trees, the bio definitely does feed in quicker. Always happy trees. That's from Jay Choi, right? Justin, Justin Choi, yeah. Yeah, he's been on my Instagram a lot lately. Thanks really? for the support. Oh, nice, man. Thank you. Yeah. He said he's new to disc golf. He's Dude. been super active with lots of questions and stuff. Um, Bobby... Shocker repair, if you're still in the chat, did you want me to sign this or do you just want this for throwing? Let me know. I won't sign it in the meantime. All right, let's keep on moving. Warden all day, every day. Thank you, Timu. Somebody's got to represent Timu? us out here. Not, not oh. Timu Nesnan, but yeah. Is burst just a color difference? Uh, in general, yes. It's a, uh, it's a different process that we run, but the discs and plastic are all the same. It's just how the colors get injected into it. So a little bit different color. But that's about it. Uh, Doc says he's pretty sure that those deputies were Paige under order a different name, ordering under a different name. I agree, obviously. So, <laughs> bets off. Yep, you caught me. Ryan says can't wait to see her eyes light up when I show her all the cool stuff you've done. I think that was the one for Abby. That's gonna be really cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That was bad. Uh oh. Okay. Good enough. Okay. All right. I got my hand eye socks on right now. It's pretty warm. Sign and hashtag it for me. You know I got you, Shocker. I got you. Let's see. Should I do it up here? Yeah. Hashtag. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm just kidding. Hateful. My dad used to do that to me when he was teaching me how to drive. <laughs> He'd be like, go ahead, go. Wait, wait, wait. And just try to test my reflexes. Slam on the brakes real quick. <laughs> Don't hit that person. Oh, no. Bam. You gotta fix the T. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Robert, did you ruin the disc now? No. Pretty sure. Yes. 
Whoa, there's those deputies. Yeah. Hand those babies over. Hey, Joshua, <laughs> we lost your order. We don't, we, we don't have any deputies for, for you to sign. Sorry, man. Uh, you. You're getting pretty famous, Robert. Am I? Yeah. Sweet. Look at how many signings. Signings you've done. If if we're being honest, it's just because I'm sitting next to you. That's how it usually works. Okay. Because people, this is how it always happens, hundred percent. Yeah. All right. So you you guys are out selling discs, like you and then Eric and Tina and those people are out selling discs, and someone brings up a disc that they want you to sign super bad. Uh -huh. And so they walk up and they're like, hey, will you sign this? And you're like, oh yeah, I'll do it. And you, you know, you're so honored and everything like that. And then I think they see me and they're like, I don't want this to be awkward. And so they hand it to me also. I really think that's how it happens. Bobby knows. That's where it feels for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, no, I guess there's people that shoot over Answer Man signature requests. That's how he ended up on the Answer Man show. He was, we were getting ready to record, yeah. They were shooting the show, right. and I was sitting at the table already right. just working on something, and they were like, guess we'll just I guess start. we'll just have Robert come on the show. I guess so Robert I've, wants and to I've join. And I've never left since. <laughs> All right. We're, we're basically through the questions on the live chat here. We've been live for a little over an hour and a half. An hour 45 minutes. Hour 45. So if you have any last-second questions, we will not be able to sign... Um, any more discs right now. But if you have any last second questions, we'd love to answer them for you while Paige Pierce is here in town preparing for her world travels coming up mm -hmm. soon. Tell the people a little bit about where you're going, like uh, just super brief. I'll be here, 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 then I'll be back. Yeah, I will be headed to Kansas City on Sunday. I'll be going to the Kansas City DD's shop. So if you guys want to come in there, come say hi at two o'clock Sunday. And then I'll be flying out of there, headed to Spain for a couple weeks, and then Croatia for a week, and then Iceland, and then back here. So we might do another live signing session if you guys want to think about joining for that. Yeah. We've been loving the live stuff lately. Yeah, it's fun. Doing like live premieres on the YouTube videos. Yeah. Have y'all been a part of those at all when we do, uh, when we do live premieres? I kind of like those a lot because we... It's like a viewing party. We get to watch it together, yeah. comment on it back and forth. Um, I've enjoyed those, so we'll we'll have some more of those uh, this upcoming year. One of the ones I'm excited for is uh, we've been doing those in the mind videos. Have you oh, watched yeah. any of those I yet? Did. I would love to have one of those with you on it, okay. just so like you. Well, I mean, I'm not the boss, but um, We're, I mean that's the plan is to do stuff like that. But yeah, just to see like you know what you're processing through during the round, because like we get to walk and talk about it, but. So Not you gotta figure to out like brain controls so that you can hear my thoughts. That's right. Some of them I don't say out loud. Yeah, well, true. No, you do it afterwards. Ah. You wouldn't talk. You play any, the round. You play the round nice. as you normally do, and then What's you just commentate on, on it. It's like a just the guy's face. Yeah, and then we and then we edit it to where it's just your round, yeah. and then you voice over. Okay. So you don't have to do it while you're playing at all. Commentary on your own. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're not interesting because you have to talk about your bad shots. Like I took a five on a par three on the course I played, and I threw two really bad shots while I was doing yeah. that. So I just have to be like, that's. And you're not sucks. really commentating on. Your, you're more saying, I saw this hole and I was practicing with a verdict, so I went yeah. through that verdict. Yeah. That type of talk. Sweet. Yeah, I saw my hole too. That looked good. It's pretty awesome. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Sweet. Well, guys, it has been great spending time with you all this afternoon. Thanks for tuning in for the in-store signing here with Paige Pierce at Dynamic Discs Emporia. Uh, if you haven't had the opportunity yet, you can go to dynamicdiscs.com and support Paige by picking up a Lucid X Convict, a Lucid Convict, a Biofusion Defender, any number of deputies, and then some other special discs that we have as well, some Dymaxes and things like that. Uh, she is planning a month-long, it was a month-long or so, mm -hmm. right? world traveling trip so she won't be able to sign any more discs before she goes to that but when she gets back in town um, hit us up we'd love to uh, we'd love to have her sign some stuff for you and uh, if you if you don't catch us here what up if you don't catch us here catch Paige out on the road at one of her uh, tour stops she's got some really cool hybrid convicts that, uh, that you can get from her she's got some uh, bio defenders some deputies lots of cool stuff so check that out support her and we'll uh, we'll see you guys at the next in-store signing. Dynamic.